I am Anil Kumar. In this video, we will discuss about application of relative velocity. An airplane is traveling 60 degrees east of north with a resultant ground speed of 205 kilometers per hour. The nose of the plane is actually pointing east with an air speed of 212 kilometers per hour. What is the wind direction? What is the wind speed? So let us sketch the scenario. Let us say the vertical line represents the north and this represents east. What we are given here is that the resultant speed is 60 degrees east of north. That means 60 degrees east of north is the resultant speed. Let's say this is the resultant speed. And this speed is given to us as 205 units are kilometers per hour. Now, we are also given that the nose of the plane is actually pointing east with an airspeed of 212. So, let us say 212 is slightly longer. So, let's say kind of like this. So pointing east, that means train, the plane is going towards east, but because of wind, it moves in that direction. You get an idea, right? So the resultant is as shown in orange, and that is because of the wind, right? So it says, what is the wind direction? So wind direction is something like this. Now, I hope the diagram is clear. That is called the vector diagram. We need to find the wind direction and the wind speed. Now, this angle here is 60 degrees. And this will be 30 degrees. Total is 90 degrees. Here, we are considering north. Now, plane actually is going in towards east at a speed of 212 kilometers per hour. But because of the wind, let's say wind velocity, the resultant is 60 degrees east of north. Is that clear? So what you see here is a right triangle where two sides and an angle included is given. So what we have here is side angle side and that means you can apply cosine law is that clear so applying cosine law we can find the wind velocity so wind velocity is equal to let me write down square of this is equal to square of 205 plus square of 212 minus 2 times 205 times 202 times cos of angle 30 degrees, right? So you get angle 30 degrees, which it makes with the east. Now let's calculate this. So first our calculator should be in degrees. And now let's calculate this answer. 205 square plus 212 square minus 2 times 205 times 212 times cos of 30 degrees is equal to a big number which is 11694 11694 so we'll do the square root of this to get wind velocity let's find square root of our answer which is 108.13 so we get 108 point let's say one the units are kilometers per hour is that clear so we got the wind velocity now we need to find the direction so once you know wind velocity you can actually find the direction using sign so so for the direction let's find uh, this angle first and then we'll work out so let's call this direction as theta. So in that case, sine theta over 
205 is equal to what we calculated wind velocity of uh, we'll write in denominator wind velocity of 108.1 over the angle of 30 degrees sine of 30 degrees correct so from here we can find what theta is so we can say theta is sine inverse of 205 times sine of 30 degrees divided by 108.1 okay so let's find this so we'll do shift sine inverse of 205 times sine of 30 degrees divided by 108.1 bracket close equal to so we get 71.47 so we get 71 point let's say 5 degrees now this angle is 71.5 degrees now how to describe this angle now you could describe this angle in many different ways let's say that is the north right so and this is east so you could say that this angle is uh, from north how many degrees west all right so that you could do so we could say 90 minus 71.5 90 minus 71.5 which gives you 18.5 degrees so this could be so we can say wind velocity or wind direction is from north we have 71.5 here so that one which we calculated was 18.5 five degrees west does make sense right so that becomes the wind direction and we know wind velocity is 108.1 kilometers per hour so i hope the concept is absolutely clear feel free to write your comments share your views and if you like and subscribe my videos that'd be great thanks a lot for watching